This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show back in 2018, episode 601. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the wonderful Sorgatron Media Studios here in Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. I'm so excited to get back. You don't know how much I missed doing this the last couple of weeks. Uh, so it's good to be back at this. There is so much more wrestling than usually happens over the holidays, it seems. For instance, uh, but with me to talk about it is the crew. First of all, in studio, Larry Hello. is with us today. Hi. Hi. <laughs> as enthused as usual. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah. our special guest, he is IWC commentator, the voice of IWC. <laughs> it's a lot funnier if I don't say anything. Exactly. Yeah, Farnsworth yeah. is uh, back on the show. First time in studio. Yep, yep, yep. First time in this glorious space here. Thank you for you having mostly me. mostly didn't get lost on the way here. I appreciate I, that. I, I came very close to hitting it on my first try. Nice. So. Nice. The, the, it's like it's like horseshoes and hand grenades. You just have to get <laughs> close by and you'll figure it out, right? So, uh, and of course, uh, Farnsworth uh, uh, with IWC, God, forever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> about that long. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, honestly, the people that have been there longer... Uh, Dombrowski, uh, Jesse, who does the graphics, Jesse the Mark, yeah, and uh, Jimmy Vegas. I think that's Jimmy Vegas, it. Jimmy Vegas, who's who has wrestled everybody from like CM Punk to Cesaro to you know, geez, that that list just goes on and on. We we talked to him a lot about it on his recent interview with us this past year. So good to have you with us. We had a lot of fun last time you were on the show. And uh, good to see you here again. I'm sure I can spoil that. There you go. Yes. High expectations. And then we got <laughs> with us on the remotes, of course, Mad Mike is back. He's 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 come off the the holiday season at Toys R Us. Mike, I, I picked up one of your compatriots at 3 a.m. at a Toys R Us here in the area doing my lift rounds. And he saw my Christmas lights Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Eve Eve and said, oh, God, please, no more Christmas music. <laughs> Oh, I turned you down. You're back. Uh, Sorg. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm one that believes there should be a purge. <laughs> but if given the chance, I'm just saying Toys R Us sells baseball bats. Oh, and apparently Macho Man robes, as you see if yes. you are with yeah, us. Yeah, check out the gold. For uh, a gift buying idea for the wrestling fan nearest to you. The thing you didn't know that could be in your life. Uh, <laughs> yes. Mad Mike with us. And of course, from our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Power to the Smarks on the Twitter. I got the sticker on my laptop. Thank you for that. Alex Cars is joining us. It's a new year. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. And I am. I am excited to be back on uh, Wrestling Mayhem show. And, and I'm so glad you joined us square in your, your dinner time on the West Coast because I, we did move the show up uh, an hour here. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you guys are joining us later. Yes, we did move the times. Uh, we we're doing this a little earlier. Screw you, Live Smackdown. I'll catch you later on Hulu. Uh, but uh, anybody let us know if anything big happens out there. I figure the mayhem is more important than anything that Vince McMahon is doing on a Tuesday night. Yeah, something like that. I think Vince McMahon feels the same way. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> exactly. So we're taking it to task. We're going to have fun and actually get to bed at a decent time for you guys. Or or, or we're dinner viewing for you guys on the West Coast that I know join us here uh, every week. And thank you so much. Yes, Alex? I mean, I'm almost 30, so this is, by the time this show's over, it'll be perfect 
bedtime for me. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but anyways, uh, you can check us out. We're live, like I said, every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time now in 2018 uh, at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Music, as well as the video versions of the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube and Facebook page. The live stream is uh, there over on the uh, you, I'm sorry, the Facebook page as well. And a lot of times interviews pop up on IndieWrestling.us. Uh, for Indie Mayhem show throughout the week and other specials. Maybe we'll do something around Wrestle Kingdom this week. And we're definitely going to be talking about Wrestle Kingdom this week on this show. Um, also, thanks to our intro by our friend Basic Sickness at basicsickness.com. Check out his music over there for <coughs> free. Uh, drop us a line at that email address. Good times! Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Are you okay, Larry? Are you? Are yeah, you, no, I was sorry. I got distracted. I was refreshing my thing. Oh, okay. It stopped. <laughs> Uh, and also drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0. We do take the voicemails, and we do play them on the show. And, uh, of course, hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. We've been uh, live tweeting a bit. Uh, Mad Mike, whenever the hell he watches stuff in his weird schedule, or, uh, of course, Monday nights for Raw and other live things and pay-per-views and such. And uh, also, thank you to our Patreon supporters, our fan of the show, Dollar Level, Bo Diggity! Woo! 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 Ed Burke and Bobby FJ Town at the Pocky Club $5 level. Those guys do get the Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold Occupy Pro Wrestling. Hey, that's you, Alex. Uh, Tina, Who Keys. Those guys <laughs> Tina Keys and Christopher Bishop. That's almost like, like the West Coast level on Patreon, it seems. And of course, at the Pizza Club $10 level, again, the state of the show. Billy Effin Johnson. Uh, of course, you guys can support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling name show. You guys literally help leave, keep the lights on here at the Sorgatron Media Studios, home of the mayhem. Uh, so let's get into... Uh, guys, it's been like three weeks. Three weeks of wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm just going to put a flat question out there uh, of... of you know what what has kind of surprised you over the holidays because it seems like a bit more has happened on like a christmas day edition of of uh uh uh, raw you know the new year's edition of raw uh smackdown has had a lot going on um for me the highlight is elias versus john cena and i didn't even see the match i just saw the promo and the shushing (laughs) <laughs> yeah that was that was great i mean that was that was a great that, that was a, that was a great moment for the hometown boy for sure um i'd just like to i'd just like to point out that wwe now stands for walk with elias yes absolutely i, <clears throat> I can't believe it took us this long to get that idea in our heads um i but, can't believe it took him that long to get the idea <laughs> absolutely because you know that next shirt is going to have the WWE logo. It just says "Walk with Elias." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's easy, easy marketing right there. So you just picture an updated version of the uh, "Then Now Forever." Uh, <laughs> at the beginning, <laughs> dun, 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 and it's like "Walk with Elias." Like I hope, I hope during the Rumble, he points his guitar toward the WrestleMania sign. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> yes, please, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, I I hope there's a point where Elias, oh, no, 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 no. All right, here's what needs to happen. Elias is the first man in the Rumble. And he sings a song before the second man comes out. Mm. Yeah. That could be fun. That that should happen. Hear that, or he gets a point where he's the only one left in the ring, like midway through the Rumble, and he just pulls out a guitar and starts singing. (laughs) I keep, I keep going around to I keep forgetting this is his first Rumble. This is his first WrestleMania. Like he he, he came uh-huh. out like right after the last one, right? Uh, Farnsworth, you called uh, Elias before he went to WWE. Uh, what's it like kind of seeing him up there shushing John Cena of all people? I am I am thrilled. Uh, that kid worked mm-hmm. when he uh, when he was training. Um, I think he gets it better than a lot of people. Uh, side note: Has anyone seen the video of? It was one of the house shows for his song. He did Hotline Bling. No, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> <No>. funny. <laughs> yeah, all... I heard he's been doing like it was a show covers. in Toronto. In Toronto, okay. Uh, yeah, listen. Call me on my he cell. was on. <laughs> you know what would have been the most amazing thing um, when he was doing the promo of Cena in Chicago? If when everyone started chanting CM Punk, 
he just broke into neon lights from like just a little bit of cult of personality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he would have gotten the most heat in the world. Like they may have thrown small children at him. I feel like I feel like maybe he does that off air. Right? Like we're never gonna see that on TV. That's a live show thing. But I feel like that's something that happens like before they come back from commercial, perhaps. <laughs> You know. Maybe, but, but you're never gonna. But I want to see that. I know, I know. Like, like even if he, it's gonna be cell phone video. Ju- oh sure. God! Uh, Dave's bringing up. I was trying to a moment ago. Uh, Elias was recently on Austin's podcast, and I think you know, too, you're speaking too far as worth. Like, you get a little bit of his thinking into like the current character and everything with that. Uh, for for people that haven't you know witnessed them the way we did, so I it, it, it's pretty cool to see how that's that's kind of worked out for him, and, and he gets so much time. Yeah, on mm-hmm. Raw every week. Cons- considering it, like he gets more time than like to be him than normally he does to wrestle. He main evented so, yesterday. Yeah, I, I mean, he, Miz, I mean, he's getting when more Miz time to on wrestle show, now. But what's that? When Miz is not on that show, he's the number two heel, and I defy anyone to tell me he was a bigger heel. Yeah, but besides Samoa Joe. Yeah, I can see that. It goes like with, with Miz not there, it's Samoa Joe. And it's Elias right under him. I want so Miz is coming back. Obviously, Elias has kind of adopted the Miz Tourage for a bit. Has not improved their skills. Um, it looked like he wanted to give them back after that last. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of rough. I mean, after this, they did so well with the harmonicas. Yeah. Um, Cowbell, we can't do. Does it. Elias become part of the Miz Tourage? No. Not not that. No. Like, does he? Have an alliance with Miz after this? No, do you think? I don't think. No, so. you think he's just completely independent. You think you don't think that just Miz sees him as a wonderful fellow entertainer that that can ride along with the the the, the Miz train? Nope. No. Nope. No. See, I don't think I could have that happen because I'm I'm still I've just gotten over uh, confusing him for Miz Dow, and oh. if he started directly associating him. With Miz, I don't think I can handle that. Okay, I miss him. <laughs> we all miss him. I, w- I hope he's the, like he's a mystery Royal Rumble entry, and he comes in as that character and just <laughs> copies the Miz, just as Miz just, now yeah. while Miz is in there. Yeah, yeah. just um, I mean, I, yeah. I actually saw him at a uh, comedy show like a few months ago, or like a couple months ago, or something in L.A. And I was, it was, it was just, it was just. So much fun. <laughs> nice. Um, and the other, the other big news uh, that I think happened since we uh, went on our break and, and everything, um, the 30 women confirmed all the same roles. They're going to find 30 women <laughs> they don't, for a Royal Rumble. I don't think they have 20 currently on the on the no. SmackDown Raw no, 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 no. rosters. There's going to be NXT. There's going to yep. be probably... There's re- going to be a couple legends. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, May Young Classic ladies are going to get an invite back. Have to be. Sorg, Sorg um, I was going to save this for our uh, big question, but I think our big question for everyone should be fantasy book your winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. Okay, good. let's hold that for the big question. Yeah, then. yeah so, every, so everyone knows. Everyone can think. Mm-hmm. Everyone can think. I already have mine in my brain. But everyone else can think, and we can all formulate some some fun opinions. But still, like it, it it's gonna be you know obviously Royal Rumble is gonna be four hours. All these the big four are all gonna be four oh, hours. Oh, it's gotta be four hours and, now. I, I mean, you have two matches that are gonna be an hour long. Absolutely, absolutely. Plus, you're still gonna do other things like the the the, the WWE and the Universal title. So there's a lot of room there, you know, for for something like that. And everybody gets on the show, right? Mm-hmm. So I think this works. I was worried about it maybe being a little too much perhaps but well, i have some questions okay all right all right all right i want to know with this 30 woman battle royal is it going to be battle royal rules or is it going to be the ladies battle royal rules where you can just like no slide them under no the no no, no. Rope? they said no, they no. said this week all the same rules is over they the top they rope haven't done the middle rope rule in like five years it's going to be over the top rope. It's going to be whatever the time period is for Royal Rumble now, which is, I don't know, 30 seconds at this point. Because um, they keep changing every, that. Every minute, wasn't it? I think it's down to a minute. It was 90 seconds for a bit. It used to be two minutes. Like, it seemed to have changed depending on how they've booked the show. Yeah. So so there, there's that. 
so I'm glad that it's not like, oh, it's 20 women, Royal Rumble, and it's going to be 30 seconds, and it's over the second rope, or whatever the case may be, right? It's going to be full-on Royal Rumble rules with the women. Are they going to take off the top rope because most of them aren't tall enough to get another nope. woman over? They oh, have to stop get that. They can get. There was an NXT Battle Royal. Alexa with the Bliss is three foot eleven. Yeah, but do not try and feed me this. They're going to all be Alexa, able to just. Alexa they're Bliss not is the raw champion. To throw them over that top. <laughs> you Alexa woke Bliss up the echo. The raw... <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. I Two woke up the echo. Conjecture with that. Two points of conjecture. One, Alexa Bliss is the Raw Women's Champion. So she's not going to be in the match anyway. Two, Hornswoggle has been eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Which just means that they have to find even more women. I'm saying they're probably going to put her in it. Side note, Hornswoggle also now is the AIW Tag Team Champion with the seven-footer PB Smooth, Smooth, whose interview we're posting this week. So, (laughs) stay corporate synergy, Sorg. I mean, just just, just putting that out there. but anyways, yeah, no, it's going to be over the top. I don't think, I mean, if nothing else, Nia can throw everybody over. I mean, as is a challenge. Asuka can literally kick people over. There you go. There you go. Not literally. No, I, I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it in NXT. She can do, literally kick people over. Do you want me to ask her. Echo if wrestling's fake again? Yeah, uh, yeah. Echo. Can no, no, Asuka no, it's, kick it's, some? It's Alexa. Uh, who? Alexa. I don't speak. I, I speak Yo, Apple. Allegra. 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 <laughs> Did she Allegra. answer the word? <laughs> That's not it. Right. Alfonso. <laughs> it's not the silver? No. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not the silver. Um, anyways. <laughs> no, my, my whole point is I don't think they thought it through. I think that Stephanie had this big idea of let, let's, do a Roy- let's do a Royal Rumble. Let's do 30 women. We can do this. We'll fill in the details later. And I don't think they thought through all of the details. Okay. That's they have point. enough. Like, not even if you don't have women. surprise entrance, they have plenty in NXT. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be all main roster. I find it a little laughable, like, everybody's doing there. I'm going to be in the Royal Rumble. It's like, listen, what girl is not going to be in the Royal Rumble? Yeah. Except maybe Dana Brooke. Right now, I'm, I'm <laughs> expecting to see Santino Morella's sister in it. So <laughs> that would be amazing. I mean, forget who posted. Somebody was like, I really wish Ellsworth was still around so he'd make his uh, uh Santino like <laughs> Santino like uh debut in the women's Royal Rumble. It could still happen. I mean they could that's really the, still- that's the only way that they could fuck up this is if a man wins somehow. Yeah, I mean because that's oh, the only I don't know. I, I think they could fuck it up. <laughs> I think they have a very good chance of fucking it up. I take nothing away from the very talented women on the roster. I'm just saying there's a very good chance this could be a, this could be a 30 minute long bathroom break. I mean, it could be very bad. <laughs> it could be. But there's a, still a lot of potential for it to be. I, I mean, the Royal Rumble can be very bad. It absolutely can. So, but there's more pre- the male half of the roster has had more experience. They have a better idea of how to match stuff like that up and how they want the rhythm to go with that match. Yeah, yeah. They haven't done that with these women before. No. They haven't done it with women before. Right. So it's sort of a first time. They're going to be figuring it out somewhat on the fly. Typically, with a Royal Rumble, you have people in the Royal Rumble every year who have done one before. Right. Yes. So there's like some experience in, in dealing with that. There were a few women. Yeah, that but were just in because it. they haven't done it in WWE sure. before, it doesn't mean they don't have experience in other feds. There's right. a lot of girls who have indie cred that sure, I'm sure true. have done. I, I'm sure have done some kind of battle royal, and there have also people that have done intergender matches where there have been battle royals. Because okay. I'm sure. Okay. Wait, 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 Yeah, yeah. You, your booking of a Royal Rumble is different than a booking of a battle royal, I think. You no, know? I know, but I'm sure Pat Patterson's probably booking this. I hope so. I, I, I was wondering, do they, do they make sure he's back in for this? And everyone go banana. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, I just want to watch him booking something <laughs> like that. Because I think as much as I keep it, everybody's impression of Pat Patterson putting over an idea I want to witness. I, like, can't, I can't imagine the like flow chart <laughs> that he has. Oh, there's no on. flow chart. There's, 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 there's no flow there's chart. There's got to be like some like football like <laughs> X's and O's and like big lines going all over yeah, here. And you're yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so complicated. And 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 I forget who was talking and and they talked about how they got eliminated like early by accident. 
and 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 looking at Shawn Michaels, and he's just like, oh, who was that? That was uh, I, it was a recent. It was like one of the Edge of Christians or something, right? Uh, I don't know. It's it's gonna escape me. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely got to be the one of the most complicated matches. You have thirty people plus that yeah. you're uh, uh, booking, and and certain things need to happen in certain orders and certain spots and everything. I mean, it's it's got to be crazy. And I, I don't think. I think it'll be fun. I think they have enough talented women. I'm sorry, did you say fun or fine? Yes. Which, which vowels? The yes. Second? Fun or fine? Yes. Okay. Both. It works. So, oh, it does. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it'll be interesting. I, I think I. they're throwing... I like that they're throwing the women at all the concepts like this, right? We've had a Survivor Series match with them. I mean, that's nothing new. You know, we've had a Hell in the Cell. We've had this. We've had an Iron Woman match. You know, it's, it's kind of the next logical step. And there's enough of them and enough talented girls for them to do this with. Maybe not all of them. Maybe some of them. And, 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 and plus, there, there are some rumors. I'm, I, I there, guess there my point is swirling. I keep hearing people say it's a great idea. Slam dunk. They can do this. And I'm like, do, do, do. everything it's can not be. that. Everything can be screwed You're, up. Everything yeah. can be. And I'm just. It's it's easy for things to go off the rails quickly. Absolutely. So um, I want to talk about another new concept that could very easily go off the rails. It's going to be a Facebook only <laughs> concept. But before that, I want to give props to our good friends at Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza right up the street here on Broadway. Uh, <laughs> little, little little clap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Kick you. The doors in. Kick, no, don't kick the doors in. Dave, uh, but no, thank you for them for supporting the show for uh, a good time, a good long time here. And of course, check them out here in Beachview, in Carnegie, PA, PNC Park, or East Liberty. Uh, thank you to them, sliceonbroadway.com. Let them know the mayhem sent you. Uh, so the concept that's very interesting, and it's another thing we're going to ignore on Tuesday nights live uh, because we'll be doing this show. Um, also, I don't know. I, I'm kind of confused a little bit. Okay, we'll get it. The concept. Because I don't think we talked about this on the show yet. Mixed match challenge. I still have no idea what the fuck this is. No, yeah, it I, I it is it. a tournament. And there's going to be teams from Raw and SmackDown. Because, of course. And they're going to be mixed tag matches. They're going to be different pairings. Supposedly, the social media outreach that they've been doing around this is going to uh, help influence who's being paired up. They're not slouching on the people involved, even on the image. Braun Strowman, Asuka, Finn Balor, uh, Sasha Banks, Charlotte, uh, uh, Sami Zayn, Nakamura are going to be part of this. Um, they, they did they did some videos where there was like the the participants announcements by the GMs. It was just like, you're just naming your roster at this point, guys. And it doesn't talk about the pairings or anything like that. It's a tournament. It's going to be the 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 combo that wins is going to win $100,000 for their charity. Okay. So things start breaking down in my head at that point. You're giving me a look too, Farnsworth. You probably have the same problem I do, right? Um, I mean, I have several, but I'd like <laughs> you to continue on your train of thought. Okay. Because um, it's wrestling i would much prefer this is intergender what do you mean inter- than mix, then mixed tags yeah, right because it's because gonna be... i want to see oscar kick braun Strowman in the fucking face which it could be a possibility <laughs> right no it won't be they're probably gonna be a team who is she gonna stand on top of to have that happen though she can jump she, <laughs> she can jump she can't jump that high he's eight that, foot nine i want to see her teaming with braun Strowman. what are you talking <laughs> about like PB Smooth and uh, and we're like PB Smooth and Hornswoggle, Hornswoggle, right? We're I gonna mean, get the know. return of hashtag Finn Bailey. <laughs> is that what? Hey, okay, yeah, I could see that. But this hashtag, is good. Oh, hashtag Hugger Club because we don't have enough places where we can watch WWE between the network and Hulu and the USA Network. Um, this is gonna be live on Facebook after SmackDown starting January sixteenth. I have no interest. Poor in two hundred five live. Poor two hundred five live. Well, they said they're, so they're swapping it with a different time slot or something like that. Well, wait, wait, wait. They're wait. not just canceling two hundred five live. Like, two hundred five live is moving. Yeah, so they're moving it to a different time or something. Which means it's going to be two hundred five pre tape. Yeah, that could yeah. be more than like they're maybe doing live the tape it before it SmackDown. Be, yeah. Okay. Probably. Huh. Live is a relative superstars. term at that point. Two hundred five live 
ish 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 kind of like the term pay-per-view now <laughs> yeah we still use it it just <laughs> doesn't quite fit yeah, it was a special event we do pay for I it i think i think they honestly should have just like done all of these mixed match things in one house show I just record it and put it out on Facebook. Yeah. Well, that defeats the purpose of doing it live and having the interactivity that they're going to supposedly but get in. We're not picking the live. teams. No, no. We're not. We're not picking the teams. So, what exactly is the interactivity? I don't uh, understand yet. I'm like, no, it's, I also it's not just like assume they're going to be like doing. the the person who's on the uh, who like isn't in the match, who isn't the legal legal participant. It's not like they're going to be on Facebook live chatting like, "Oh my god, I hope Finn tags me soon." Although that would be great. Do you remember when they had a real live like shoot boxing tournament? Brawl for, oh, yeah. for all. all. I just listened to that episode of yeah. Bruce Pritchard's podcast. This is going to be that. This is going to be that. I don't know. About only that. stupider. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, I don't think it's going to be that stupid. But um, it's going to launch the career see, of Bart what? Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the Bart Gun of this tournament? <laughs> oh God. See, when it comes to the interactivity Kurt of Hawkins. it, though. Kurt Hawkins is the bark gun of this tournament. Yeah, was that Alex? Oh, I was thinking when it comes to interactivity with with this uh, mixed match uh, challenge, the first thing I think of is there's a there's an indie promotion out in out here in the Southern California area. Uh, uh, they actually they've been promoting this thing that they're doing on Twitch, where you're you like call moves out on the Twitch chat and they're supposed to do it or something. I'm like, oh. That's idiotic. <laughs> so like, that's, that's idiotic. idiotic. <laughs> so I'm just picturing someone in the chat on Facebook being like armbar. I would just <laughs> they I were would doing just that on House of type, I would just repeatedly types in all caps over and over again. Do a barrel roll. Is it roll around the ring? Try a somersault. Teams are going to start to be announced Thursday, January 4th. So we'll know those teams very soon. Um, so, of course, they're going to put it on January fourth to try and steal, steal Wrestle Kingdom's thunder. Oh, well, hey, that's something. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, while well, we're all up at two a.m. watching Wrestle Kingdom and saying, "I wonder who the teams are for Mix Max." Oh my God, Chris Jericho just kicked him in the face. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. It, 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 so this is this is this is definitely you know part of the Facebook Watch initiative, which is their kind of. Um, YouTube serious programming kind of thing. There's probably a button on your phone that's bothered you for the last month over on Facebook lately, and you can't Sork, get that number to go away. I have a question, Sorg. How do you watch on Facebook Watch? You wait, wait. You so you should be able to. Hold on. Am I going to tech support you right now? I no. I literally don't know how I would even view this if I wanted to. So I think what happens is, do you follow WWE? No, probably yeah. not because they, they spoil will, everything if i'm far behind listen that listen do you remember when 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 michael cole and jbl would diagram how we sign up for the wwe network and how much it is for the first like six months of that being announced do you remember uh-huh. that yeah do you, do, do you remember the dubstep do, the dubstep <laughs> they did a dubstep do you no, there is gonna be because not i mean Think about your audience for WWE. Okay, and let's be honest about the audience for WWE for just a second, right? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So, like, they're, yeah, most of them are probably on Facebook, but they will have to be explained very, very specifically and very, mm-hmm. very often over the mm-hmm. next couple of weeks and during the course of this programming. Um, how the hell do I watch on Facebook Watch? Mike? Right. You will be very aware in two weeks how to get this. Don't worry about it right now. They don't okay. have a thing yet. But okay. but there will be a diagram. There will be explanations for this. So, Sorg, I have a quick question. So we keep talking about Facebook Watch, and I just want to make sure I got this clear. So you're telling me that Facebook Watch is not <clears throat> Facebook's attempt to compete with Apple, correct? That's not a $300 watch that you <laughs> check your... Uh, Facebook feed on? That would be no. That would okay. be no. Okay, just, just making sure. That would be no. Thank you. I have two questions on this. It better not be about a fucking watch. Not about a fucking <laughs> watch. One, so they're doing these these matches live starting the 14th? 16th. 16th. So Enzo Amore is already out 
for illness. Thank God. What is like, what does he have that, that he's not going to be ready in two weeks? Wait, so he, he's been counted out on this. Yeah. So he, what he, illness does he, he have? Exactly. He has the flu. He has the clap. The flu. He, yeah. he, he, but in two weeks, in, he doesn't have to wrestle for yeah. another. I think and, these are going to be live. I think, right? I'm, so, I'm pretty sure that's a kayfabe injury. When so he uh, doesn't have to defend there, the title. There, there was an wrong. Instagram photo of him in the ER hooked up to an IV. Oh, geez. Um, but um, when does when does the uh, 205 live house shows start? That are happening over uh, in New yeah, York. Mike. That's over your way, right? Is that uh, around the right, same time? The weekend before the Rumble. Okay. So that that might the weekend be the, before the Rumble. Like that yeah, might be the substitution like, for the Facebook. Thing. You, you think they're recording at that? They might just be doing live at the shows, house shows. At the house shows. Uh, I don't know. I Maybe. don't, I don't <laughs> think so I don't, because the two if the, the two hundred five live house show. I don't know. There are better ways to get him out of the tournament, in my opinion, than. That's your problem. That's your hang up right now. Is, yeah. Like, well, yeah. that, and I will say I'm, I'm impressed that they finally got Vince to understand that people follow Facebook and they should feed into Facebook versus Vince's idea of, I should just create my own social network. Well, he, yeah, he we've been not, long past he, that. He might not know this is happening. I'm sure someone's explaining it to him or at least telling him how to watch it. Yeah. I, Vince probably thinks it actually is a watch. <laughs> or he thinks he invented Facebook. We bought this, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe that is something he's going to be buying very soon. Uh, rumors are, rumors are, I don't know. Maybe he just divested all of his tout money because Vince has apparently started a company that <sighs> first I heard maybe investing in MMA, Alpha Entertainment. Alpha Entertainment. Hmm, sounds like somebody else. In Canada. Only if only if he brings in the alpha male mommy bro. Yes. And the alpha female, just because. Yes. As soon yes, as she's done with her them. surgery. Um and also maybe bringing back the XFL. He... Dun, 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 dun. I heard he copy wrote he had he had a copyright on a new name. Like it's not XFL. It's, it's not like... in no way it's gonna be XFL. But it could yeah, very it's well some be some other name along yes, those lines. Which goes to, and I'm not the only one that thinks <laughs> this. I, I, I personally, not to get political, I feel like that his good buddy Trump is in cahoots and devouring a NFL for this opportunity. Because when you know he tried XFL, was 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 NFL has been like a brand that has been consistent and growing and and crazy for thirty years. I don't think you're chipping away at that in, in 2002, was it, when they did XFL? No. 2000? No. Well, I mean, they, they also ran after the Super Bowl, though. Right. So they weren't trying to chip away. They were trying to capitalize. Right. Like, you know, fill in that gap, like <laughs> AFL or something like that. Yeah. But they were still very much, they called NFL the No Fun League and, and, and things like that, right? So, um I, I, and I feel like, uh, you, you know, from what I can tell, the like NFL ratings are lower at yeah, this point. Ratings have gone down. Um, the, the um, you know, goodwill of NFL has been going down now between uh, hen, hen injuries and, and uh, you know, everything else going on. Uh, so this might be a good time to capitalize on even that. So, so are, you, you know what I hope Vince is doing? I hope it's a flag football league. No, no, I'm dead okay. serious about this. All right, all I'm right. I'm dead serious about this. I'm dead serious about this. In a flag football league, you can focus more on the athleticism of the athletes by trying to avoid having like being flagged and than the actual combativeness, like the smash mouth. Like, don't give them helmets. Okay. Don't give them helmets. Make it a flag football league. I'm, I'm dead serious about this. Because, but, you, but you call it something else. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You call it something different. F- but, F- F- but at the end of the day, we're looking at this, we're like, this is fucking flag football. Right? But is that yeah, what you're thinking? Like, that's what I'm thinking because it undercuts every a lot of the stuff people don't like about football. Like I like I personally don't want to see a lot of head rattling injuries in football that causes CTE. But if you have people, if you got motherfuckers spinning out of the way to avoid having a flag from them, that's entertainment. 
sign me the fuck up for that. It's like Cirque du Soleil, but with NFL. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, yeah, I'm, wait, to- wait, wait, I'm wait, totally wait, down for that. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. I don't know. Hold no, up, slow up, stop, very control. Acrobatic. Okay, all it's right. Yeah. Okay, uh, that part of it, not the creepy part yeah. of it. Got oh it. no, not the creepy part of it. No, of course not. Okay, so, so would it be like? Would it be like, so like, like, like two hundred five NFL Live? It's like the Harlem Globetrotters. Two hundred five NFL Live. That's what it is. Har- the Harlem Globetrotters of football. Yeah. 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 So it's gonna be trampolines. <gasps> Why the hell not? Kill ball. <laughs> <laughs> make it. Make it like MTV Rock and Jock. No, no. What was that? They did that on Spike TV. There was oh. a basketball. Yeah. Where they had trampolines. Yeah, the uh-huh. court was a trampoline. Ball. It was slam, slam ball. ball. And do you remember the yeah. guy breaking his foot off? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they should just what? It was ball. yeah, like his his foot was just sort of de- like he the skin was the only thing keeping it on. Uh huh. It, oh, it was no. it was it was one of the most impressive injuries I've ever seen on television. Because <laughs> he's like, I don't think this is good, and like it, it's just flopping. <laughs> I didn't think I thought those were pre-taped. They were. They still, they still showed, showed it. it. <laughs> Why wouldn't well, you? you? Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Because it had that. Just to make everyone go, oh, God. Because it had before, that. Rewind that. It that was that before ro- YouTube, too. Right. So it had, had that. To watch it again. That roller derby kind of feel to it at the, at the time, like the way the shows were put together. I don't know if they ever got into any actual games. <laughs> I just, like, I remember them choosing teams and that happening. Yeah. And then I couldn't find the show anymore. <laughs> That dude filed a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Sued I mean, them for tens of dollars. I mean, eventually somebody's going to miss a trampoline, right? I mean, it, 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 they have to. Because if he wins that lawsuit, what's he win? I mean, some uniforms and trampolines? Foot, mean, mas- foot massage coupons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A discount card at Foot Locker. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so Vince McMahon's investing in Slam Ball. Got it. I think that's what we All- learned. Yep. Ultimate flag football. League. Ultimate I, flag football. I gotta be honest. I don't. He's, I don't he, care about. He's it. investing in rollerball. <laughs> he's making that a thing. Yeah, would it be great if it's just like Vince has discovered ultimate frisbee? What was that? What was that race car oh. soccer <laughs> game? Race well, car soccer be, game? Yeah, that was the sponsor for to, uh, to be f- Rocket League. Rocket League. They were just gonna make They're Rocket gonna make League real real life? life. Yeah. They were like, damn oh it, this, God, this looks like our crush hour game. Yeah. That's exactly what it's going to be. Now that they're talking to Medusa again. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Oh, oh, oh. There has the twisty rockets. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but hey, t- to be fair, from what I remember, they were talking about like the trademarks that were done. And two of the trademarks were for like URFL and like you with a lowercase RFL. So, I mean, there's going to be something ultimate about it. Okay. So maybe that is what's happening. Oh, by ultimate the way. Re- ultimate relay flag football. Boom. I want to point out. I want to point out that Alex <clears throat> is the only one on the show that actually does research in these topics. So I props for that. <laughs> so, um, all right. Well, I, I don't know, Vince. I, maybe Vince is just doing crazy. Vince, um, I need to do something with my money uh, uh, at, at this point, and I don't know. He's looking for a retirement. Product. Yeah, the- is that what? <laughs> Dude, do <dude's> not <clears throat> retiring. The, the- Come on, that's not I- a guy that. That's not the kind of guy that retires. He's seventy. Yeah. His retirement know. plan involves in a six-foot hole and a lot of crying. That's yeah. yeah. You don't, not, that, not too much crying. Will. He, he won't be, won't be much crying. Your booking parent. He's yeah. a seventy-year-old man that got shoot head butted like three months ago, and he's trying to die mm-hmm. in the ring. And he did not need to do that headbutt. No, but you know that before that happened, he was like potato me, motherfucker. Yeah. It, it, oh, and yeah. I give him nothing. I think you see I have the fucking wor- hit me come out of his lips mm-hmm. before he gets hit. Lay it on me, pal. And <laughs> I, ha- it, I have nothing but respect for that. Yeah. He doesn't need to do any no, of that. No. He's a goddamn billionaire. Yeah. You don't see Steve Jobs going out. Well, you don't see <laughs> Steve Jobs at all anymore. I see Steve Jobs take a fucking headbutt. Uh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> or how about again, Tim Cook. He, Elon must take a pop-up power bomb, all right? <laughs> but make it energy efficient. That's right. He took like no. a he took a frog splash after that too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I can't imagine like Owens being a, a soft, you know. I think I think he splash. cushioned it a little bit. Oh, of course. It's like don't kill the boss. Don't kill the yeah. boss. Don't kill the already. boss after He's... shooting the fucking headbutt. <laughs> so maybe I'll give him brain damage, but he is not worried about the well, concussion. Uh, I mean, yeah. Let's be he honest. If he's gonna get if 
if he was gonna get CTE, he's probably already has. Oh, Vince. Yeah, yeah. From like his head's 98. already messed up yeah. from the attitude era. Oh god. So one more headbutt's really not gonna do much more damage. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> so wrestling's been a lot of fun. <laughs> the last two weeks. <laughs> hey, but seriously, I think it's been the most interesting. Like holiday. Like you know, we didn't have BS. Okay, though very fun. Uh, Santa getting hit by Alberto Del Rio's car kind of stuff going on, right? We I had a, I kind of, I kind of miss that. I stuff do miss that. I re- when we're doing like that, the the flashback. Whoa, he's like, squeaky how do, over how there. How do you have? <laughs> a puddle how do you have a raw live on Christmas, and all we get is the Miz singing one Christmas Carol? Wait, what? That's all that happened. That's not That's what, all. We, no, it wasn't. There was a, uh, there was a Santa match. Was that this year? Yeah. yeah, there was no yeah. Santa match. Yeah, there was one on both shows. Oh yeah, there. Were, okay, yeah, I think there was on. It both was either shows. a cruiserweight or uh, I thought the one oh, was a ladies right. match. Right, I forgot about the cruiserweight tag. Yeah. Mm. Okay, but even I don't know. None of them are jolly. None of them None had of Mick them, Foley. Like they're all they're all two hundred five pounds yeah. and under. So well, they're so Smackdown, they're not big Smackdown, guys. Had, Smackdown had had it with uh, um, Rusev. And... Rusev in, in English as Santa and Frosty the Snowman. Or or, yeah, the, or, or Jack, from, Jack Frost or whoever, or the and one then, from Frozen, and then the New Day elves throwing flapjacks. Yeah, no, people. SmackDown had more than Raw though. Like it did, it really did. It was the more fun and holiday show than Raw was, which is weird. But like, why, kind did, of why okay. did Roman Reigns Ron come out saying he was just... the big dog driving the sleigh? Come on, because that's he read a book. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, nothing is better than the. Good Santa versus uh, uh, na- Naughty Santa of Sandow and Mark Henry the one year. Yeah. Like that lead up. It didn't pay off. But that lead up the, the week before was amazing. I don't remember that at you all. You don't remember that I at all? I don't remember that at all. Oh, I'm not saying it didn't happen. I have been hit in the head a lot. In commentary? <laughs> yes. Was Joe beating you? Joe gets real excited. He does. He does. He really does, if you've heard him up there. You probably hear him from the Crow's Nest uh, when you're at IWC shows in the audience, actually. So, anyways. Well, uh, <laughs> we're going to get into, um, you know, there's some other wrestling happening across the pond. No, that's not the pond. The other pond. Do they call it the pond? No, that's no. an ocean. That's an ocean. That's, that's an arrowhead pond yeah, of Anaheim? That's on the other side of the world. Oh, the, okay, okay, okay. In Japan, there's some shit happening this week with Wrestle Kingdom. We're gonna talk about <laughs> it. We're gonna get. We're gonna fantasy book for our big question: uh, the Women's Royal Rumble, and we're gonna have some damn fun with Farnsworth. Uh oh. Uh huh. Good news, everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll be right back after this with the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We got Farnsworth eating some cookies. Oh, and in the cookie jar. Larry's with us. Hi. Hey, you, you all right? Yeah. You just took your headphones off. Yeah, I'll fix my hair. Oh, okay. You know. Yep. It's bugging me. There's Mad Mike up in Poughkeepsie, right? New York. Yeah, I'm on cookie. And of course, Alex out in California with Occupy Pro Wrestling. I also want cookies. <laughs> we, we will have Everyone to... wants to be Farnsworth. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you come in the studio. You don't know what we'll have on hand. <laughs> but anyways, it is time for the big question. And Mad Mike, you had posed a partial big question earlier in the show around the women's yes. battle over Royal Rumble. Tell, tell us more. Yes, what what I... can we do with this big question? Okay, so what I'm proposing is... You can name a winner. You can name a spot. You can name a mystery entrant. I just want something you would like to see in the women's Royal Rumble match. And Sorg, if if, if you want me to go first, I will go because I've been thinking go ahead. this for a couple Set weeks. the tone. Set the tone. Okay. All right. So a lot of people are saying Asuka has to win this, right? Sure. Right? Yeah. I mean, let's say that. you know. Empress of Tomorrow, yeah. undefeated. undefeated. Seems in line for a shot at Alexa Bliss. Guys, I Asuka say has the to win. Nay. Wait. What? I say the nay. Who's that? Um, 
I, I'm, I'm saying no. Oh, oh um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying no. I'm All saying right. no. It's not a new character. So, it's not that you haven't. No, heard no, of. no, no. It's not an NXT uh, entry. So, oh, good. Okay, okay. So my idea for the women's Royal Rumble, Oscar gets the thirtieth entrant. You guys, Oscar gets the thirtieth entrant, and okay. everyone stops in the ring. Everyone completely stops because they hear Oscar's theme music, and they're like, "Oh man, shit's about to get real." As soon as Asuka comes out with her mask on, she can't see that she's being blindsided by a returning karma. God. Yes. I wish. Karma <laughs> has been hired by Alexa <coughs> Bliss to make sure that Asuka what? does not win the Royal Rumble. Because Naya's run off with Enzo. Yes. Oh. And oh. my winner... My winner of the Royal Rumble is a surprise entrant by the name of Ronda Rousey. And she challenges Charlotte at WrestleMania with four horsewomen in each corner, baby. That's my booking. Top that, bitches. All right. I'm going to counter that booking. <laughs> okay. With... <laughs> Stephanie's going to be the number 30 entry and win it herself. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, geez. Oh, no. This is out there in the universe now. <laughs> She's going to pull a Triple H. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. I could totally see that yep. happening, and, too. And he's going to ride on the back of her motorcycle. <laughs> right down the ring. Hey, you know what? It. If that leads to triple to Stephanie driving the motorcycle out and Triple H riding around like he's Hillary Clinton, I'd be okay with it. I'd be okay with it. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> like if she's the one dressed in all skulls. Oh yeah. And she's got like skulls right over her breasts. Like what? that would just be hilarious. What? What? <laughs> this Triple H always has skulls. Yeah, but, but this is still the PG era. So she's, she's gonna be dressed like Evil Lynn. <laughs> yes. Why uh, not? Nipple H. <laughs> <laughs> ah, show title. Hashtag show title. Nipple use, H. Nipple. Uh, yeah, I have nipple, to use nipple H. H. <laughs> nipple H. Nipple H. Fuck. I am gonna have to do that now. <laughs> 2018 starts with nipple H. <laughs> nipple H. What about you, Alex? Well, <laughs> follow up nipple H. Okay. Jeez. Uh, All right. Here's here's my scenario for you. Good luck. After years of training the future of women's wrestling in NXT. Sarah Amato, formerly known as Sarah Del Rey, finally makes her in-ring debut for WWE at the Women's Royal Rumble. That's about all I got. Bravo! Oh, I like wow. that. I like that. Does wow. she win? Just she she gets to wrestle she, again. She, she would have oh. trained at least half the people that are in the match. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Imagine if that led to Sarah Del Rey versus Charlotte <laughs> WrestleMania. Oh, oh, that's You're good. That's oh, really well. good. That's <laughs> real. You know what, Alex? We asked you to follow up Nipple H. You did. You did so thusly. Very impressive, sir. Remember when we had her on the show? We just talked about her recent haircut. <laughs> <laughs> like That's all I remember from the interview. <laughs> Farnsworth, how about you in the Women's Royal Rumble? Okay. My pick would be your final three are Asuka, Bailey, Sasha. Uh, Bailey's been fighting since the beginning. Big win hits the Bailey to belly on Oscar. Sasha immediately throws her out, just completely heals out, and then some sort of cheap shot to Oscar to get her the win. If you won my pick, that, that's what that I sounds very similar to the '92 flare finish with Sid uh, Hogan and uh, Flair. I like it. I like it. I mean, it's not above WWE to redo one of their angles. Oh this no, I'm, true, I'm not saying I'm not true. saying it. Ne I'm not saying it negatively. That's oh no, I, I didn't think you time. were. Right. 
Yeah, no, that's the best <clears throat> Royal Rumble of all time. I'm not saying that's perfect. That's perfect because then you can have Bailey like look up at Sasha and Sasha will be like, "Hey, every woman for themselves," and then and then Oscar just tosses her over, and and just to, and it sets up. It finally gives Bailey a little something because mm-hmm. I feel like she hasn't really gotten quite the shine she should, and, but it doesn't give her the whole thing, and it gives her something to fight towards. So I like it. I like right. it. All right. Do you have anything, Sword? I feel like when I first say that, I'm going to have a return booked. Long time listeners of the show probably know who I'm going to say. And I don't know what her physical uh, uh, deal is right now. Uh, May Young is dead, Sword. What's that? May Young no, no, is one. dead. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> May Young rises from the dead and says, <laughs> I, 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 don't th- I don't think Sable's coming back either. <laughs> <laughs> Although she might be there to watch, I'm match, thinking I don't think she'll be. Sunny's there. not thinking, coming back either. And, and Sunny's not. <laughs> Le- Sork, Le- the cat is in real estate now. Lita, it, it won't be her. Lita's broke. Lita? Lita's broke. I mean, Lita's broke. Next thing. Oh, I thought she like financially. No, no. I, she can't. Well, I wonder if she's well enough to do a Royal Rumble. No, they retired. She had to retire. Well, yeah. yeah I, Okay, that's my fantasy book. Okay. Is Alita? You know who else had to retire? Rick Foley. Trish. <laughs> yeah, Rick Foley God. was really good at the uh, the retiring thing. Um, no, I would love to see like Lita and Trish sure. return, have a moment, bump out, we good. Okay, that'd be nice. I'd okay, that. all right, all right. This is all right. A supplemental medium question. What's the one thing you don't want to happen in the women's rumble? James Ellsworth. Okay. I mean, we've been down yeah. this road, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm with, I'm with you. I'm with I you mean, on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who's that uh, Ronda Rousey's best friend? <laughs> Shana. Eva Marie winning the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I would be okay with Alicia Fox winning it. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That'd that be would be awesome. for her. Because uh, crazy Alicia Fox would decide the night before WrestleMania who she's going to challenge. And nothing goofy. Nothing. No no Luger, Brett, you know, same time crap either. Like, this thing needs to be a rumble. Definitive. It finishes. Definitive. Boom. No no funny stuff, you know, for the finish itself. Uh, no controversy. It's like we did this right the first time. Because I think it's a problem with Money in the Bank was there's controversy in the first one you ever did. I think they learned their lesson. I know. No. 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 I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, the the uh, one thing I don't want to see, and I have a feeling it might, I don't want to see a Bella in the Rumble. Yeah. I don't want to see it. Like it, I know it's a possibility. I know it's a likelihood. I would be okay. I know it's probably a certainty. I, I don't okay. want to see a Bella in the Rumble. I would be okay with it if it was a guest entry like Tatanka. Okay, you yeah. Know, or, but... or DDP, where they're just in it for a little bit and then get thrown out. Yeah, yeah. And I I'd think be you fine could, with that. You could, you, could, you could definitely have some fun with that, you know? But I, I think you, you could have. Maybe a Lunder Bla- Blaze will make that kind of entrance. As oh, well, if know? a Lunder was in it, that would be fucking dope. I'm not that excited about it, but you no, know, I appreciate be, Electra. But. When was the last time she was in the ring? Uh, like '97. She's doing WCW. And I can't. You or, can't say she's she she can't get in the ring because she's doing monster trucks, and that's got to exactly. be physically taxing. So, you know, um, Alex says number thirty will be Candice LeRae, and the last two are Candice and Oscar. Ooh. That's that's good. I like I that. that. That's 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 fine. <clears throat> I would have loved, uh, you know, knowing she's going for surgery. I would have loved to see Jazzy uh, debut in this. Yeah, yeah. That, that I, would I would good. To answer the question of what I definitely don't want to see, though, uh, I just I I had a thought flash in my head just like thirty seconds ago. I definitely don't want a celebrity entrant in the style of Drew Carey in the 2001 Royal Wait, Rumble. Who would be your Drew Carey of the Women's Royal Maria Rumble, though? Maria Menounos. Oh, no, 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 Maria Menounos. No, 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 Or Snooki. Pimpy, uh, what, what, Mike, help me. Uh, no, just stick Pimp. with Pimpy. That works. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? Uh, Pimpinella Escarlata? Yes, yes. Oh. Oh. I would, all right, yes. hold on. 
I would be on the fuck board for that. Are you kidding me? That would be the Drew Carey of that. Entry, Gender of that is fluid in 2018. I'd be on board for that. But, but explain who this is for those that don't know Lucha Underground or Mexican wrestling. All right, for wrestling. those that don't know Lucha Underground, fucking watch Lucha Underground. <laughs> it's it on out. Netflix. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, Get it's it. on Netflix. Fuck you. I'm not going to explain who Pinky and, is. And go watch Netflix. It's like you on the third Netflix episode, or, isn't it? Don't watch that yeah, Will Smith th- bullshit. I, th- I think Pimpy's watch on the fucking second, Lucha like, Underground. Or second episode. It is. It Pimpy is a transgender wrestler. An exotica wrestler. Exotica. An exotic. The official term exotica. is is exotica. Yes. The official term uh, is exotica wrestler. Yes. It's kind of like um a luchador gold dust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was okay. gonna yeah. say that's, ba- it, it, that's basically what Pimpy yeah. is. But lucha dust, yeah, lucha dust. Except they're lucha not afraid dust. to just go full on femme. No, they are not. No, definitely not. Uh, nope, definitely not. No. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I'd appreciate that. Definitely, it's like Dario's yeah. Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke Sork. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke sword. First breakage of the new year. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Let's go to another exotic land. What with... a surprise. Uh, Taya. Oh, Taya, God, please. Please, please Taya in the Rumble. Please don't go back to Impact. You don't deserve it. Go go to the Rumble. Please go to the I Rumble. I just hope please, that... please go to the fucking Rumble. Please go to the Rumble. <laughs> hey, Larry? I just hope that Sheena Baszler doesn't win it. Oh, I'm really oh, worried. Right. She popped up on NXT last week. I hope they don't turn her into Lady Brock Lesnar right away. Lady Lesnar. Oh, they're they're gonna turn her into Lady Lesnar. Oh, yeah, yeah, not right away. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. She's gonna be pretty badass. Um, <laughs> EC3 is the surprise for the men's matches. Oh, oh don't make me dream that, no. Brandon. Uh, okay, we have EC3 before, as before, Sid Vicious. Before I vicious. get to Wrestle Kingdom, <laughs> EC3 as Sid Vicious. Yes, we have to bring this up. So our friends at Absolute Intense Wrestling um, had the unfortunate um, um, uh, idea to book Sid v- Vicious. That never idea. works out well. And John Thorne tweeted when they booked it, it says, I know his history, but I have to do this. Uh-huh. Was, 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 was something along those lines. At, at least it sounds like he got a leg up on what could happen. Oh. Get, get yeah, it? I got Sig. you. I got Sid. you. Knew that was coming. So uh, as almost expected, Sid Vicious calls... <laughs> You have to listen. It's on their podcast stream. It's on their YouTube for Absolute AIW. Uh, that dude is uh, The card is going to change. Yeah. Did you listen to the <laughs> yeah. entire call? Not the entire. I had to turn it off. He blames. Driving, he blames. <laughs> he blames the Donald Trump <laughs> travel ban for not being able to get on the plane because something about his license. <laughs> Hashtag PMS. Um, Hashtag political mayhem show. So that's. Yeah. By the way. I think what it was. What it really was is. Is he a PA resident? No. Well, he might be in one of those states like PA where your I was, yeah, driver's I was, license not valid. I was playing. wondering. He's in like Minnesota or something. Yeah. So yeah. he probably just didn't have his passport. That was my guess him. too. And they're saying he needed, no, needed a passport. No, he's just lazy. No, no. I think it was he's more than that. He's just lazy. Yeah. You have no. to understand how to operate scissors to cut the red tape. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so wow. It, Whoa. Fuck. fuck, Alex. Damn. <laughs> New show title Wrestles with Scissors. Um, so I apologize, but no, you know, there's no apologies on this show. Come on, come on. It's on the internet, man. It's, it's on out the there internet. Now. It's just it's out there. It's not. Yeah, it's out there like Sorg's Christmas special. Mm. <laughs> it's out there like Sorg trying to boop the internet. <laughs> Can't take that back. <laughs> oh boy! So in the meantime, AIW you can't bo- you can't unboop the internet. Has sort. the show Hornswoggle sticks around in Cleveland one extra night uh, because apparently he was doing a comedy show the night before. He stuck around for AIW. He's he's a regular there pretty much these days. It's okay. He just had a short set. Um, EC3 was signing Sid Vicious's pictures. <laughs> and if you're on audio, it's a picture of AIW's Rulers of the World with Sid Vicious featured. He wasn't here. I was EC3. Um, that was my favorite. There is a lot of great stuff on the Twitter. We retweeted a lot of it. Here is again. Um, here's another picture of EC3 dressed as Sid Vicious. 
Mm-hmm. Very mm-hmm. great. Very great. And there he is, of course. Um, it looks just like him. J- Justin, I'm not Sid, <laughs> EC3. Um, um, <laughs> it, it's, honestly, the, it's honestly the best Sid has ever looked. It is. He, he also wasn't the only one to dress up as Sid. No, uh, he wasn't. Everybody did this. Gregory Iron. Yeah, we got the another one. Was, there you go. EC3 had the wig. That was the only. I mean, where's Waldo? There, but... What's that? Did they wear's Waldo? Sid Vicious? Did they wear's Waldo him? Yeah, you ever see the wear's Waldo book where everybody's he, dressed he up like Waldo, Sid. but they're yeah. not Waldo? Yeah, they basically, yeah, except nobody can find Sid. Um, yeah, so, and and this is the line and everything, and, and you know, I, you know, I, I, I've been, you know, there's been a lot of discussion about this. I know uh, I've been on uh, Lord Zoltan's thread. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. The next picture right uh, just came up. I've been on Lord Zoltan's thread talking about how you know how crappy vicious is and everything. And I say, if nothing else, AIW, I give them a lot of credit. They will always they try to book outside the box or the stuff they want to see. They've admitted as much as on their podcast. We talked to them about this on the on uh, Indie Mayhem show. But when something like this happens, there's always a creative solution. And and sometimes and and it was like in all hands like obviously EC3 Gregory Iron uh, all of all of fans and everything involved and even to the point of you know I mean Hornswoggle even got in on the action Rulers of the World uh, featuring uh, crossed out Swoggle mm-hmm. uh, that, that is one of the scariest images that came out of that <laughs> so I mean uh, by all accounts everybody had fun that went to the show I I can't think that a lot of people were disappointed Sid wasn't there. Given what was there in its place, because but uh, I see honestly, I would disagree. You could with probably that. get some would, bookings as Sid. That is true. That is true. I mean, it's <laughs> it's, it's opened up a new new thing for. I, was, Sid I would disagree with that because I don't think that if you put if you sold a show based on come see EC three, it would have been the same result. Okay, I think that. I, and I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm not, it, I'm not, Sid has a, has a certain level of legend. Yes. And a history as well as, I mean, no one's watching Sid to see you Sid wrestle. No. They want to see <laughs> if Sid shows up and they want to see Sid do a power bomb and claim he's the master of the universe and all that BS. Yeah. But that's what people were buying tickets for, not to show up. And then, uh, and we'll laugh and have a good time with e- with Ethan Carter. Mm-hmm. If you just said, "Hey, Ethan Carter's at the show," it's not going to sell. Like if it's Sid, so I I have a hard time saying, "Oh, well, it worked out," because I guarantee there were some people that still wanted to see Sid. True, there are some really sick people in the world, <laughs> <laughs> and they wanted to see Sid. So he's saying. Wait, I, I believe his fans are called Sidians. <laughs> Some people just want to see the world burn. <laughs> <laughs> or or the ruler of the world burn. <laughs> or or some people just want to see that second take live promo. <laughs> no, we're live, kid. <clears throat> hey, can I go again? Sorry, Either sorry, way. Guys, sorry. Some people okay, just have the brain that you do. <laughs> Is that, what's up, Mike? No, I was I was making the Sid joke that I, I didn't get the line right. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, also, it's, okay. it's a live show. It's a live show. Also, in, we're in, live, Al. Since we're apparently doing the indie minute now, uh, we <laughs> we miss you, Eamon. Uh, we want to give props to the two-time IWC Rookie of the Year, Jackson Argos, who hey, got caught. Sorg, Sorg. Yes. Canada Dry. Canada Jackson Dry. Argos. Jackson Argos, who was so excited. He was doing, wait for it. Oh, why is this video not playing? Thank you, Twitter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, he was doing snow angels um, in, a, in a tank top uh, in, in West Virginia. So that's how excited he was. I think T-Rex got robbed, but congratulations oh. still to good, good, good friend of the show, Jackson Arcus. I mean, it takes a certain I'd like to- <clears throat> level of something to beat t-rex to beat t-rex yes so, absolutely that was well wardlow a couple times but still well, yeah that's it i'd uh, like to Alex, go I'd, ahead i'd like to stage a, a bit of a protest though because hashtag yoro you only rookie once that's well, just no an th- th- there's something to, to be said about being so good that you don't improve at all over a year <laughs> 
<laughs> if it was good enough to get him rookie of the year last year, why would you change it? <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Wow. Okay. Hi, Jackson. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom 12. At uh, least he got nominated. Wrestle Kingdom. Did you get nominated? Uh, no, I wasn't on any of the ballots. None of them? Not a one. My God. I I know, right? I mean, just I'm a doormat. Jeez, it's like no one. I I bleed and I give hashtag, and I give. Hashtag and justice for Farnsworth. The only pe- place anyone takes me is for granted. <laughs> That's not a bad place, though. <laughs> At least hashtag there are cookies. Bad news. Yeah, yeah, you got cookies. There, there you go. <laughs> you just gonna try. Dairy, dairy I can free. eat my feelings. Dairy <laughs> free. <laughs> He's gonna drown his. Drown, drown, drown your sorrows, sorrows in cookies. Dairy free. Drown cookies. your sorrows in slice on Broadway. No, no, he can't do that. No, he can't I'm, do that. I'm, no, no. They, they have dairy free pizza. Do they? No, they don't. Probably. No, <laughs> they don't. Leave. There's cheese on everything. <laughs> yes. Not, not As pizza no, should I, be. I've seen it. Yeah, there's yeah. cheese on it. All. Uh, there's cheese on all of it. Salad pizza? No. Well, they have a salad, salad but I mean. Yeah, salad pizza's no, a thing. No, Wrestle gonna... Kingdom. Wrestle Kingdom. Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah. So we're having a slumber party here for Wrestle Kingdom because it starts at like 2 a.m., I think. I think it's 2 a.m. I think it's 2 a.m. Yeah. Is I it saw Thursday was going into Friday or Friday going it's into thir- Saturday? Thursday going into Friday. It's Thursday going into Friday? I thought it was Wednesday going into Thursday. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I think it's Thursday I, going into Friday. That's what I put no, it is Thursday going into Friday because uh, Access is doing it like three hours later oh. for their Friday show. Then I need to readjust my schedule I, I'm, and the <laughs> Facebook event. I only, I only have three. Somebody needs to confirm help. this with me because time zones are hard. Anyway, I'm glad I'm glad I asked this question. <laughs> yes, because I would be sitting there um, in about uh, uh, 32 hours. Wondering where my Wrestle Kingdom is, and I would be sitting there the next day wondering where the wrestle, where the where Sorg is. Where, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can watch Wrestle Kingdom. I want mine. Like Sorg, right. I'm at the studio. Some sometime this week, we are going to see Chris Jericho. I can't. I, mean, I should just wait and watch the access thing and be safe. Uh, we're going to watch Chris Jericho against Kenny Omega, the Alpha versus the Omega. This is for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. It is a no DQ nope. match. United States Championship? IWGP United, United States, States Heavyweight Championship. Really? I didn't know that. Yes. Oh. They, they've they uh, instituted that, I think, within the past year. Is well, that right? I, no, I, I, didn't know was, I, just, I didn't know it was a they, heavyweight they, championship. They introduced it at the G1 Special weekend of shows, which was actually done in Long Beach back in uh, July. Yes, uh, they just introduced the title uh, it, 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 as a heavyweight title. I think like Kenny was moving up from what was he cruiserweight or junior heavyweight? Junior heavyweight. before okay, he moved up from junior heavyweight to heavyweight, but has been unsuccessful right. in getting the right. heavyweight championship because he was in the heavyweight main event last year. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That was you know six stars. Um, so. I, the build up, the little bit of build up. I mean, there's been like a whole two things that have happened. Um, but I can't, this is, uh, uh, Kevin Kelly was tweeting that this is the most high profile Wrestle Kingdom he's ever had, he's ever been involved with. And it's definitely, it's definitely coming to a peak on this. It's definitely an Americanized main event, of course, for attracting that. And I think a lot of the new people are going to be introduced to it. Um, uh, introduced to New Japan as a whole, uh, because of this. So I don't know, what are, what are your thoughts going into this about the excitement around, uh, Jericho? And uh, uh, Omega here. I think it shows just how talented both guys are. Mm-hmm. Um, Jericho, no, it feels very much like Jericho sort of spearheaded how he was going to be presented, mm-hmm. or at least had an, had creative control over it to a degree. And he did it just how I think the best possible way to throw an air of mystery into it while at the same time everyone knows what to expect. It it was the most amount of impact for the least amount of effort. And that's important. Yeah, because they've literally done three things, mm-hmm. right? They've done the video introduction. They did uh, Jericho ran in and attacked Omega. And then they did the press conference attack. Yep. Yep. That's it. Yep. And it, I think it's worth, it's interesting to note that this is not the main event. No, absolutely nope. not. Yeah. 
Um, There's a lot of good matches that, on here. It, it, it's always it's always balls to the wall on this, and um, we're just kind of going down it. We're Punky 3K. Uh, he's Rapunky. taking on the Young Bucks. Rapungi. 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 Rapungi Vice. Um, <laughs> Rapungi Days. Yes. Rapungi Nights. <laughs> That's six man tags and nuts. <laughs> um, but that's for the jeez, uh, and these are all titles. Um, okay, first I gotta bring up new <clears throat> New Japan uh, New Japan Rumble. It's kind of the pre-show. It's kind of the goofy Royal Rumble. It's where Scott Norton came back and destroyed people, and 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 you know maybe everybody remember him. It's where Jushin Thunder Liger usually shows up. A lot of older New Japan guys. A lot of fun stuff. I think like Billy Gunn may have showed up last year or something like that. So, Isn't this where Ricochet dresses an anime character? Uh, no, no, no. That was an actual match on the card. That was an actual match on the show. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Ricochet? That was, that was actually... Uh, you might be thinking of uh, Kota Ibushi, who was Tiger Mask W and ACH, I believe. Oh, ACH. Like, ACH, that's right. That's right. Yeah, was yeah, like yeah. His, his rival for that. Yeah. Yes, okay. where they were the Tiger Mask from the Tiger Mask. Go away, Siri. No, I don't care about stock market. <laughs> um... Don't say ACH to Siri. Uh, but anyways. That, was, that got weird. Hey, Alexa. ACH. <laughs> ah, nothing. No? Just like to chime at you? Boom. Boom. Um, anyways. No. Uh, so there's that. Rapungi against the Young Bucks for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. What I think is the third year, they said, in a row that they've done this. Or fifth. That they've been involved in this match. Um, I think third. Third? I I could be wrong, but I think the Rapungi we're thinking of here is actually a different team from Rapungi. Oh yeah, Vice. no, it is. It, it's not Rapungi Vice. It's Rapungi 3K. They're, they're a different team. I kind of I, I kind of figured. Yeah, they're, they're I, I, I want to clarify that because it, I believe it was at the G1 special they did a thing where Rocky Romero and had basically said that that was kind of it for them as a tag team after they lost a match. Oh against the Young Bucks, so, like, they wanted to let uh, Trent focus on, like, they wanted okay. to make both guys focus on singles careers. Rapungi 3K is show and yo, right? Yeah. Is yeah. it show and yo or show and row? Show, show and, and yo. Show and yo. Okay. God, show thought. and row would be hilarious. Have Ray Row in there. <laughs> 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 Ray Row just started randomly randomly teaming up with small Japan, Japanese guys. <laughs> just throwing them around. Um, he literally uses his tag team partners as weapons. Speaking of War Machine, uh, there is going to be a gauntlet match for the never open weight six man tag team championship, which includes an iteration of the Bo- Bullet Club, of which I'm not familiar with many of them, except I think these are the ones that swear a lot. Bad Luck Fail, Tomatonga, and Tonga Leo. No. Sorry, I, sorry. No, it's Bad Luck uh, The Gorillas. Fale. I'm sorry. Uh, Fale, sorry. Members of Chaos. Mike Elgin and War Machine, and I, which I'm curious about because the last thing I saw from War Machine was fuck Mike Elgin uh, around everything going there. Uh, a combination of a Suzuki Gun, which includes Zack Sabre Jr., and uh, Taguchi Japan, which includes, uh, most notably to American audiences, Juice Robinson, the former, I believe, C.J. Parker? Correct. In NXT, mm-hmm. who has been doing fantastic, by the way fantastic match he had with i think cody rhodes last year um cody rhodes taking on kota abushi that's gonna be awesome which is like the only non-title yeah. match on yeah. the card he had a decent yeah, match it against was Okada a, too. yeah he did he did absolutely it, it, was, it was it was an interest it's an interesting match because it, it was for the roh title until cody lost it to oh, uh, okay. castle which even um last year's kingdom uh, Wrestle Kingdom, where I think Adam Cole won the belt, was the first time I ever witnessed a title change in Ring of Honor for the heavyweight title. Mm-hmm. And on a pay-per-view anywhere. Uh, Killer Elite Squad, which includes Davey B- Boy Smith Jr. and Lance Archer against, oh, I'm not pronouncing that. Evil and Sonata is the team. <laughs> Those the... indubernables. You got they that? Thank you. This is why I don't Ingobernab- do a New Japan podcast. Sure. No. Sure. They sell it at Hot Topic now. You should know where it is. I have not been to a Hot Topic. Okay. Um, which is amazing, by the way. Indubernables that... de Hamon. I actually got um, my, my little buddy who I took to NXT TakeOver a uh, Young Bucks pin from Hot Topic for Christmas. Did you say Los Ingobernables de Jamon? 
Because that's on. that's the ungovernables of ham. Oh, no, Hop on. Hop on. There's your show title. <laughs> I can't spell it. Um. Anyways, <laughs> and and okay, Minoru Suzuki versus um, Haruki Goto. Goto. Do I wait? First, I need to <laughs> do. I, do I need to pick? Bring up pictures. Okay, let me explain this. Okay, never open weight championship. If you've never seen the never open weight championship, that's usually the one where people are they ju- they just murder each they other. just murder each other, right? And that's just the regular championship match. This is a loser haircut and no seconds death match for the never open weight championship. What the fuck? There's gonna be C four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something's gonna explode, Wait, what right? No second. I don't know what that means. So they, they have, they have, our, the they have our time limits. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold, hold on, Alice. So, oh, no, sec- no, no seconds mean there's no. There's no time limit. No, oh, I, I assume it meant no one at ringside. Yeah, you don't have your your. Oh no, seconds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I right. Okay. I, I get it now. Okay. Because Suzuki Suzuki gun, Suzuki gun. Uh, I think yeah, Goto okay. has his own faction, so it's it's it, who have been feuding okay, over the last year. Okay. Ringside. Okay. So so no no way at ringside. It's just them. It's a death match. Shit. Um, <laughs> that's midway through the card. <laughs> yeah, that's a, by, that's by way, halftime. Intermission. <laughs> you will need an intermission after that. I was going to say, I would hope that would be right before intermission. Yeah. Nope. Something like that. you clean up. After yeah. That. It's gonna exactly. be, those first few rows are going to be like the Splash Zone in SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, if, you, if you've never seen uh, Wrestle Kingdom, the first few, few rows are like 20 feet behind the barricade. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> like that commentary, they're screwed. Uh, that row that they usually show on pay-per-views for WWE, mm-hmm. that's ringside. The international row. So, and they've become very involved the last couple of years with things. Um, then we got, so there's that. Um, Marty Skrull is the, um, apparently the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. You were just talking, uh, uh, Larry, about uh, him winning the belt on access. Um, oh, geez. Against Takahashi, Kushida, and Will Ospreay in a four-way for that belt. There's going to be an awesome match. There's your flippy quote. I was going to say, that sounds like flippy flying. Yes. Galore. Yes. <laughs> and then for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship, uh, Tanahashi versus uh, Ring of Honor and recent uh, IWC Super Indie participant, Jay White. So, AKA Switchblade. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Switchblade. Let's go by Switchblade. Is that is that a Japan yes. thing or Ring of Honor? That's, ju- that's a New Japan thing, yeah. Okay, He's back Japan. from his excursion, I think they've been saying. Excursion. So it was one of those, well, because anyone that's a young boy in Japan goes off on an excursion when they go to other companies outside of Japan. Then they usually come back, and more often than not, they have some kind oh. of a gimmick change. Were you around? It's kind of like Kudo the Amish's Rum Springer. Um, I don't remember Soldier Kudo. We also had Kudo from Kudo. DDT. No. Yeah, they both essentially did that with uh, IWC. And there's there's been several uh, iterations of, of you know some Japanese guys coming through like that. I, yeah, but I they were they stayed with us. <clears throat> okay, they, they were here for multiple for months. Okay, I, I, I think it's yeah. before I was watching. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think I think one example I can give is Okada, who is like the current champion, mm-hmm. had an excursion. That was when he was in TNA as Okato. That, that poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Which T- by the way, for more on that, <laughs> listen to Laxley's TNA therapy session on the Mayhem Show Super Feed. Yes, with Mad Mike and Shirley Doe. Oh man, we gotta do another one of those. Yeah, you do. I, I think he was he was he was itching for that to launch, and I think he's itching to do another one already. So <laughs> Shirley Doe? Shirley Doe? Shirley uh, Shirley Doe, who was apparently in Shikara. I still can't get over that. Yeah, he was uh he tagged with uh as part of Darkness, Darkness Crab Crabtree. Tree. Yeah. Yep. With uh, Shirley Cr- uh, oh, with okay. uh, I'm trying to remember the gimmick name who he tagged with. It was oh, because they went as Shirley Crabtree. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. It was Darkness Crabtree and Shirley Doe. See, I remember things. He's been everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and he was a part of that Japan stuff too. We talked uh, about a little bit about yeah. that in his interview. So yeah. I yeah. Yeah, I went over with him on that. Oh jeez, on the first go. 
So you didn't have to keep an eye on Balls Mahoney? Was that a different trip? No, thank Good. God. Jesus. I, I don't know that I would <laughs> have accepted that trip. I, yeah. I had an, I've told you, have I ever told you my Balls Mahoney moment? Like when people say, I'm not Balls sure. Mahoney. I'm not sure. No. It was 3 a.m. We were in the uh, Pramanis down in the strip after a show. It, all the bars have let out. So it's all the drunk people and all the cops. As it is. We're sitting at a table. There's a, a, table of Pittsburgh's finest behind us and ball stands up and goes, okay, I got to go see if I can find some pills. I'll be right back. (laughs) (laughs) Hashtag pills Mahoney. There's that there's, there's balls in a nutshell right there. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That sounds like the trip that he had. And of course, Jericho Omega and uh, Okada versus Naito for the IWGP heavyweight championship. That's going to be awesome. My God. If you if you've never watched Wrestle Kingdom, this is going to be a good first one for you. Um, it's going to be it, it it is across the board typically the best wrestling that you're going to see all year. Wrestling, not not WrestleMania, not right, not necessarily wrestling. storytelling. No, 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 no. I mean, there's there's stories going into this, and and like I said, we you know the biggest thing on here is like three items that have happened, and you can see them on YouTube, right? Um, and it's, it's like seven or eight bucks for you to sign up for new Japan, get some people together, get, rub your nickels together. And it's, it's worthwhile. Oh, nickels. Nickel Sorry. H. Nickels. Sorry. No nickels. <clears throat> not, 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 not nickel not, H. Not, not nipple H. Not <laughs> nickel H either. No, that's <laughs> it hasn't been nickel H for years. Yeah. So go check that out. We're going to be doing, of course, something around it when you wake up, I guess on Friday morning. Um, wait a minute. It has to be because it's Thursday. Torg, are you first. actually going to stay awake? Uh, we're going to try. If Larry is going to help me okay, stay cause, awake, because I tried watching it last year and I live off. tweeting it. Yeah, and I tapped out. I tapped, like, I tapped out with like, out during the final match. I tapped out with like two matches left. It's got. Oh be, no, you were going no. way before. So that. it's got. It's got to be Thursday you night. You were going way there. before that. It's, it, it is Thursday night there, which means because it's Thursday there before it's Thursday here. So right. No, it's it's. No. They're not on the other side of the uh, international dateline. Mm. It's Thursday. It's Thursday at five ahead. p.m. There. It's Thursday at three a.m. Here. It's it is Thursday at three a.m. Here. Yeah. So I was, which is which is. So I need to be here tomorrow. Thursday morning. At three a.m. Yes. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> Wrestle. Hold on, because I saw this. Wrestle Kingdom start time is one of the uh, auto fills right now. <laughs> Just so, let's see. We're going to double check this. All right. Anyways, what did you learn from wrestling this week other than time zones? Which I we're think still we should ask on. Alexa. Should Alexa, what time is Wrestle Kingdom 12? Sorry, I don't know that. Ah, of course she doesn't. she doesn't know either. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week, Farnsworth? <laughs> what did I learn from wrestling this week? That you can book a a thirty person battle royal without having thirty people to fill it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I think any promotion details are too. details are left for the future. Some promotions just have a lot of people in masks. Yeah, true. Good point. Some I, people just uh, some promotions just have people show up. Like, sure, you're in. Yeah, you you eating popcorn. So I've been there where people don't even have names and they are assigned a name. <laughs> And told you're in the Battle Royal. Yes. Larry, what would you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I don't know. I've just been watching uh, back episodes of New Japan this week. Yeah. Trying to get familiar with. I see you discovered on Access. So you're yeah. in the sweet I disco- gym. Yeah. I learned that I have Access on my phone. You have the so sweet Jim Ross commentary. Can, yeah. Yep. And I also have uh, El Ray Network, Mike. Yes! <laughs> yes! I expect updates, sir. Yeah, we'll be streaming that. I Absolutely. expect updates. Mad Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned that I don't think people have taken into account how much recuperation time Brock Lesnar has. There's a reason he's undefeated. He only has to wrestle once every two months. Okay. If he had to wrestle maybe twice a week... He might not be undefeated. 
he's you saying he'd be worn down. I, I, and... I'm just I'm just saying strictly from a kayfabe, kayfabe perspective, it's a it's very intelligent by Brock Lesnar. Mm. If they're not going to enforce it, he shouldn't have to. Yeah, but Kane doesn't wrestle every week. Kane barely wrestles when he's booked. Oh come on! No, I'm I'm sorry. He. It's 2018. We should be done with Kane. This might be his uh, his uh, retirement match, man. It it better be. <laughs> yep, can't wait for him to retire with a universal title. Alex, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be okay uh, with him retiring I... the universal title and bringing back something else, <laughs> not called the universal title. Alex, what did you, you learn? I well, I already said what I learned. I learned that WWE stands for Walk with Elias. Well, that's true. This is true. <laughs> this is true. I learned it's not from this week, but I learned well, yeah, it kind of relatively is. Uh, John Cena, John Cena, it makes a very good bowl in Ferdinand. Good, and I can't wait to see what <laughs> he turned off his mic off of that. Um, and I'm very excited to see him in a new movie called Cock Blockers. Oh, god. <laughs> It's called Blockers yeah, officially. It's, oh, it's, okay. it's called Blockers, but it has a rooster in front of it. It looks fucking horrible. <laughs> I was going to say, if fun. it was named Cock Blockers, I assume it's a Kevin Smith movie. It's a Judd Apatow. It's, oh, is it Judd Apatow? It well, looked, it I think like so. It. It's got his wife in it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no. It's, 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 about, it's about a group of teenage daughters making a, a sex pack for high school because guess what, guys? Girls can do that, too. They would never do that. <laughs> So, anyways, John Cena plays one of the yeah. dads. Yeah, and, they, and he's like all and, beaver cleaver. And uh, yeah, Sorg, Sorg, did you see the trailer where he butt chugs a beer? <laughs> yep, I did. Yep, that was in yeah. front of Disaster yeah. Artist. And yep. the cops show up, and he runs away with a funnel sticking out of his pants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's Your the... new star of Bumblebee, ladies and gentlemen. What? He's he's in Bumblebee this year too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Listen, the Rock. None of all Rock's movies were winners either. <laughs> Most of Rock's movies are not winners. <clears throat> I say Ain't that the truth? Jumanji was was a pleasure. Um, I did not see it. Did you see it? Baywatch. Baywatch. Nobody? I've heard Anybody? was not a pleasure. I Sorry. didn't watch Baywatch. I'm I not enough for I'm the not Baywatch. Giving, I'm not giving either of those. Jumanji shot. was entertaining. Nope. Yes. Sorry, it's not worth and my nine. I don't nine even nine. like Kevin Hart. It's not worth my nine. I'm not doing nine. it. That's not, not even Jack Black could save that movie for not me. Not even Jack Jack Black as a woman? Yeah. I mean, no? well, that could be any of his movies sometimes. Yeah. I'm just saying that that dude has so many personalities in his head. Like Yeah. And no, that, I'm that movie. No. All right. Uh, well, let's see what the chat room has, what they learned this week. Uh, Matt Carlin's learned that heel Ty Dillinger could be a thing. All right. Uh, they Alice, did that at, uh, at the house show. I think they did that at the house show, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he wasn't... I was wondering, because he was kind of... I didn't know what was going on with him and not Sin Cara. By the way, Sin Cara or Patriot? I can't tell with a t-shirt on. Sin Cara or Patriot? <laughs> well, he looked like the Patriot Sorg. to me. <laughs> Sorg, it depends. He was did tiny. he come out to Kurt Angle's theme music? No, he did not. No, he did then not. It, then, it, then it was Sin Cara. But, it, but Sin Cara was wearing a t-shirt during his match at the house show last Thursday. So, we've been talking about the house show. Jeez, that was a fun house show. Yeah, that was, I that had was no problem. Kevin with Owens killed Christmas. What? Kevin Owens killed Christmas. He did. Christmas. He did kill Christmas. He knocked the Santa off the stage. And all the hats off Sorry, the ring. I, I heard that that house show was held on Rusev Day. That's pretty it cool. It was yeah, held it on was. Rusev Day. It was. We got it to was celebrate a lot of Rusev fun. Day with yes. Rusev. Absolutely. <laughs> as was, much as I like Rusev Day, I'm still kind of disappointed they never got to do Handsome Rusev as much as they should have. I love the yeah. Handsome Rusev. Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I don't know how much you could get out of that. Um, More. other I Cody Rhodes got a lot out of it. True. Other Alex, Cody Rhodes. other Alex on the West Coast says he learned that Shane Strickland uh, can take some crazy spots. Uh, Dave learned that you can take a hot chicken soup into the emergency room to give it a certified G. I'll give it to a certified Not, G. Yes. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I was thinking of Kaiju Big Battle when they were saying that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck, when do they come back? When does Kaiju come I back to know. Pittsburgh? Because I, I have don't to know. fucking go. Oh, jeez. Um, I was just picturing chicken soup in the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> With his leg up in traction. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kaiju, I love you. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah, Sin has really let himself go, apparently, uh, says Matt Carlins. But anyways, uh, oh, and, and Wheels learned that uh, Bright was a film. That has nothing to do with wrestling, like, at all. What? Yeah, I can't tell. No, I don't have any connection on Try that one. <clears throat> no. Mm. Uh, there might have been some scenes in Boyle Heights. Very much, maybe, but, but that's you can't it. really tell. Yeah. I, I you can't know. really tell. They didn't show the billboard. That's the only part of Boyle Heights I know. Right. Mm. What do Bright and WWE have in common? Hmm. Neither are wrestling. They are entertainment. (laughs) Tying it all together. I also learned, um, as I have been uh, listening through Something to Wrestle With, with Bruce Pritchard, um, I've learned that there are no ribs as gimmicks in professional wrestling. It's a thing. Because everything, even the polka dots, they spent money on things. Why would they make fun of somebody and put millions of dollars in them like the Red Rooster in TV time? Yeah, I don't believe that. You don't believe that I at all? I don't no? believe it. You don't believe that? I believe that Vince is that vindictive <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, that, he yeah. would, that he would go and name and uh, name uh, Soul Man Jones uh, <laughs> Virgil just to, get under the, just to get under the skin of Dusty. Believe it, one hundred percent. Okay, all right, all right. It's been an interesting listen for me so far. Like I said, about eight episodes in on it, I skipped the Montreal, th- uh, uh, the Montreal screw job one because I've heard enough about the Montreal screw job over the years. But if you haven't, Joe Dombrowski, the Montreal theory available at IndieWrestling.us. There it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, uh, no, it's, it's been a good listen. Um, I just get a little worn at the. Um, grilling by the co-host a little bit but uh but overall pretty decent so uh with that thank you everybody first wrestling mayhem show of 2018 by god the internet held up uh thank you everybody for joining us out there tina alex matt carlin's wheels out there dave and everybody else throughout the evening that's been a part of this mayhem Uh, we're gonna have a 12 year anniversary special next week and again, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. 9 p.m. Eastern time is the call time now. Uh, so we hope you guys join us for that. Maybe on the side while you're watching your uh, uh, SmackDown and stuff. Uh, Mad Mike is Mad Mike 483 on the Twitters. That is true. And hopefully Sorg and I will have a discussion about what's going to be happening with the middle week of wrestling. Yeah, stuff. what is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sorg, Sorg I'm not going to lie. Uh, because of my schedule, I have not watched 205 for NXT uh, since November. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, yep. no. I... So I, I, I'm going to take a day when I have a whole day and just binge fucking everything. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no i don't know if that's a good idea <laughs> i'm gonna binge it all Sork. is this gonna be like when you uh were trying to catch up on nxt or on um tna no i will never do that the only the only time i've had to do that once was i had to watch two episodes of tna in a row that i've had i've only had three shittier ideas in my lifetime and one of them was t- drinking two fish bowls full of alcohol in the same night mm, i remember those nights uh mm-hmm. alex how how what, what's up with occupy pro wrestling these days well uh funny you should ask because i'm still sitting on an interview that i recorded back in november i'm trying to finish getting everything set up for recording to finish recording that episode so i'm hoping to get that up soon uh i actually just got done earlier today doing a chat with kevin ford uh who does uh, uh viva chikara and other chikara related projects so I'm bringing back Chikar in 15. That's supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Uh, we looked back at uh, season 17 and 18 for Chikara, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, and I've been doing a bunch of uh, my own merch, including, and this is one project I was particularly excited for, is uh, Snapbacks, the cool hats that all the cool kids wear. Uh, I did one with a uh, merch design that I have, so over at, at OccupyProWrestling.com, you will find uh, a place to pre-order your own uh, Smark 
snapback. And if you're interested, please pre-order because it's the only way I'm going to be able to afford to get these hats done. <laughs> awesome. Go check it out. OccupyProWrestling.com. And there it is. There's, there's the, there it is. You want to get a smart? That's actually, that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool shirt. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that would be a hat. That, that's a hat shirt. Yes. That's a hat shirt. And shirt thank you, for your head. Shirt for your head. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Um, and of course, Farnsworth. You're you're on the you're on the Twitters. I am on the Twitter, and you're on the DVDs for the uh, IWC. Them there, IWC the, boys. Oh yeah, yeah. Over available over indiewrestling.us. Yeah, with the uh, with the recordings done by uh, the good folks at Sorgatron Media. Yes. Anything else coming up? Um, you want to promote? I got some cookies left over. Yay! <laughs> cookies hey. with Farnsworth. Now there's a podcast. Yes, <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Has nothing to promote. No, I'm good. There you go. We'll see you. We'll see you again next week, probably. No, we'll, we'll be here tomorrow night. Apparently, tomorrow night, apparently <laughs> at two a.m. That's what I learned. And I learned a, I'll be here Wednesday night instead of Thursday. Night. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, stay tuned to Facebook. We'll probably do something fun around that. I'll probably take a nap beforehand uh, <laughs> or something. I'm gonna have to. I'm not making it otherwise. Uh, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Anything else? Fa- uh, we'll probably try to do a Facebook Live around it or something. Something fun. Yep. You can watch us doze off while we're watching wrestling. I don't know. Whatever that turns into, right? I'll bring sushi. You'll bring sushi. Yes. You're bringing sushi. I'm bringing sushi to watch wrestling. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't, I don't eat sushi. You don't eat sushi? <laughs> no. No. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.